gonna do some little snaps for life is good. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Maisha Chantel. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking below and also turn on your post notifications so you can stay up to date with whenever I post because you'll be the first one to watch it. But if you're returning, you already know the spell. Thank you so much for tuning back in because you truly are a real one. And I'm gonna keep saying this over and over. I do not know where I will be without you guys because Y'all are amazing. My subscribers are going up. I'm getting closer and closer to my subscriber goal. And then my views are going up. So, yes. Whoa. So, let's just, um, y'all know I get straight into my videos. I don't do no extraness. So, let's just hop into the topic. Y'all already see what this is, video is going to be about. How I took my anatomy and physiology one and two notes i successfully passed anatomy one and two with an a and both in the lecture and lab class so kudos to the man above because without him i didn't think i was gonna make it if you're preparing to take the atit's um test pretty soon i do have a series of how i scored in the advanced category of the atit's I have a video on each section, the math, the science, the reading, and the English, and then I have a video on overall. If you, um, I gave out some tics, tips and tricks how I passed each section. Well, not how I passed, how I got the score that I got in each section. So I will drop them in the description below. Make sure you go check those videos out. And also I pre-recorded um, videos about how I past anatomy one and two in microbiology lecture and lab class with an a i will drop those in the description as well because i'm just trying to make sure i give out advice that makes everyone successful i believe in helping others there are some people who don't but i'm here for y'all like so if y'all want to ask me anything let me know i got y'all okay just comment below and drop So I took um, anatomy one in the summer of last year. So it was about a year ago since I took anatomy one. And of course, if you take summer classes, you know that they're going to be shorter than the fall semester or spring semester just because it's in the summer and it's only like a month and a half. Y'all know how stressful it can be taking especially a science course in the summer. But it's possible clearly to get an A in that class. You just have to put in the work. And I took, and then I took anatomy two and microbiology in the fall together. So anything is possible. You just got to believe. That's my motto for real. But into how I take my notes. So the first advice that I would give you guys before I even show you how I take my notes is you have to be an organized person or you have to start becoming an organized person. Because when you're taking um, notes for any class, especially your science classes, you want to be really organized. And I know I've been watching a lot of videos um, with people that are in nursing school already. And they are so organized. And they just, every video I have watched, they was like, you have to be organized. You have to be organized. And so I'm just going to be relaying that information. You do have to be an organized person. Because my notes are very, very clean, clear. I can find them easily. And I'm, I'll, before I even took anatomy and physiology, I was already an organized person. Bed is made up. Like, my room is very organized. My car is clean. Like, I hate mess. I'm slick OCD. Just a little bit. Just about that much. But I'm really, like, I freak out when it's not organized. So, do become an organized person if you're not already an organized person. That will make your life ten times easier when you're taking anatomy and physiology. So, how I took my notes was... Every time I went to class, I did not. I brought one notebook, a pen, and then I had my laptop. 
I took my notes on my laptop because when you're taking notes on a laptop, you can type faster than you can write. So you'll be able to catch majority of what your professor is saying. So I would suggest bring your laptop to class every day and type your notes on your laptop. And when you get home, rewrite your notes on a piece of paper. Of course, when I brought my notebook and a pen to class, that was for if my professor drew an illustration that I clearly couldn't put on my computer, I will draw it out really fast, even though it probably looks like a mess. And then I will redraw it when I got home. Yes, I spent hours and hours and hours of <laughs> rewriting my notes of what I typed in class. You're going to have to put in the work to be successful in the class. If you already have your method of how you can pass the class and you've been doing things the same way for years, then hey, don't change it. But if you haven't, been passing the classes with an A or whatever score, you, whatever grade you needed to, just take my tips and you'll be successful. So with Anatomy 1, well, Anatomy 2, I had it in my notebook, my notes, and then Anatomy 1, I actually had it in a three-ring um, binder because I had some loosely paper left over, so I wasn't going to waste my paper for Anatomy 1. So what I did was... I have tabs right here. It separate each chapter. Chapter 1, Chapter 2. So it would be easier for me to go back and just, okay, if I need to go to Chapter 7, I can just easily flip to this tab instead of flipping through pages. Put a tab on it, each chapter, to separate your chapters. Getting into these notes. If it was a definition, here's how my anatomy one notes look if it was definition I highlighted it and if it was a major part of the chapter or beginning of a new chapter I would just bubble it right there and I color coordinated everything I wrote in different color inks and that was one of the tips that um, a lot of people were saying when they were in nursing program in the nursing program they color coordinated their stuff so I took their advice and it was really beneficial and if there was an example I will of course like right here I will write down the example but I will put it in a different color and here's another example right here so and I did that for each and here is still some of my notes. They're very, very color coordinated, highlighted, everything. And also, here is an example of an illustration that was drawn in class. I don't know if y'all can see it. That was drawn in class. I drew it really fast. And when I got back home, I redrew it to make it look neat. With illustrations on topics, if you're a visual learner like myself, I would suggest doing this because it will help you understand how a process works better than just reading how it works, if you're getting what I'm saying. Like this illustration is an example of how homeostasis work, how negative feedback works. Yeah, this is negative feedback, yeah. How ne negative feedback works. It's some more illustrations on this side of directional terms. You can see it. Yeah. I'm going to keep repeating this over and over. If you can draw illustrations pertaining to that topic, draw it because it would be so beneficial in the end. So yes, I did that for all of my all of the chapters, color coordination and highlighted the most important stuff. So that was for chap that was for anatomy 1. For anatomy 2, I put it this I took all my notes like before on my computer and then when I got back home, I would rewrite them. To my understanding, I will write them in my own words so that I can understand them because you know what a lot of professors, they just using these big old words, this terminology that you do not understand. And you're just sitting like, what? Can you dummy it down for me? Because 
clearly you have your degree. I don't have my degree in that yet, so I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> so you want to write it in your own words so you can under actually understand it because if you understand the overall process, no matter what question they're going to ask you, you're going to understand the smaller details. And with Anatomy 2, I did the same thing. I had my tabs. I don't know if y'all can see these, but the tabs for each chapter. Let me see if I can find an illustration. Found it! So, with this illustration of the heart, can y'all see it? Yes. What I did was I printed out a sketch and then I just traced over it without filling any stuff. So the black, the outline of the black is what I traced over. And uh, this is just, okay. so this is just the um, illustration of the heart circulation. I color coordinated how pulmonaries, the pulmonary um, circulation work. It's in pink and then systemic is in purple. It includes your right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle, pulmonary artery, inferior vena cava, superior vena cava, aorta, aortic valve, and pulmonary valve. And so, yes, this is how I did the uh, flow of blood through the heart. And then I did the definition of what pulmonary circulation is which is deoxygenated blood and then systemic circulation, which is oxygenated blood right here. And then I did some most important facts up here and then, then down here as well. So like I said, again, if you can draw an illustration with it, it will help you a hundred percent to understand the overall process because just with this uh, illustration of the heart, I know how it flows through well, I know how blood flows through the heart, like the back of my head. Now, if I was just reading it, I would have been like, no, I don't understand this. But actually seeing a visual made me understand it better. But, yes, I'm just going to flip through this notebook just to show you guys. I did the same thing that I did with Anatomy 1 and 2 notes literally the same thing so that's how i take my notes oh here's another uh, illustration of your lungs look you have your lungs it has the membranes yep so that is how i uh took my anatomy and physiology one and two notes was like I said before, you have to be very, very organized. And if you have a laptop or an iPad, take it to class, type your notes then, and then retype, well, rewrite them when you get home. That was, that's how you stay organized. And also just tab each chapter. So if you need to reference to get to chapter 14, you'll be able to get to that just by going straight to the tab. And so... If you guys have any questions or concerns, you can just email me. It's in a link below. It's in the description below. You can follow my personal Instagram and DM me on um, my Instagram at Maisha Chantel. It does take me. I won't get back to you right away. It may take a couple of days just because I'm still responding to emails about my science notes for the ATITs. I will read it, but once I read it, I will respond. So give me a couple of days to respond to it. And then if you, you could just drop them in the comment section below if you have any questions. And it, I don't get on YouTube as often as I do social media. So it may take me a little, my response time may be a little longer on YouTube. But I definitely will get back to you as soon as I can. Just don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel, comment below on whatever content you would like for me to record, and also just share. 
share my share my videos <laughs> and guys thank you so much again for tuning into my channel i will see y'all next time